hello youtube welcome to my video tutorial on how to hide ip or proxy ip from in your computer probably there is a site that is restricting you from um accessing something because you're in a different country so i'll show you how to hide it or probably you have your own reasons as to why you want to change your ip so uh without taking more time i would like to proceed to the video it's possible with both google chrome or mozilla firefox and in this case i will just use mozilla firefox for this demonstration so open your mozilla firefox mine is just had a shortcut on the desktop and then first of all let's look for a list of ips uh, for instance i will find a free uh, elite elite proxy just search that uh, elite proxy list Bar. or we can just say usa you can write per country or usa depend every country has so many proxies you can go searching usa after you you exhaust all the proxies you get you move to another country i would like to use a search instead and then after you exhaust that you move to the next keep on doing that and all that so okay sorry this thing is has a lot of ads um so open that in a new link in a new tab i'm just trying to open many at once so that we can be fast once we have one that is already working okay i think they're okay they're working um well yeah this was checked one minute ago so let's also change them uh to elite and we have elite proxies that were checked 10 minutes or two minutes ago yeah so we also have as you can see it's really inexhaustible you have different countries here and these ones are from other countries so oh, so far i think it's the, the ones that we have are enough to go f with so let's just leave the two and then the next thing that i want you to open is you now have the proxies but changing it on the browser takes more time now first of all we need to test to see if these proxies are alive or dead uh, I, I hope you understand what i mean by dead so um one thing i'm doing the reason as to why i'm opening uh the reason as to why i'm opening my google sheet is because it will help me sort the proxies i will just take the ip and port at once and test even up to a, a, a hundred proxies without having to waste more time like checking one by one so this is my daily timetable it's an online google sheet spreadsheet but i'm, I'm not really using that for now I'll, I'll just use it for this demonstration so what i will do i will also i'll put all the links that you need on the description so there's this one it's called proxy checker it's it will help you check all the proxies now you can put one by one and check them just put the ip address separate the and a colon and then the port but you can put all of them that's the reason as to why i open this daily timetable so so that once i start uh, copying like this for example i'll just go to all these and then let, let's just use anonymous i'll just copy all that and then I, so that it will help me sort i hope you understand what i mean that's enough i don't need to do so many and then i'll just put them here you can delete them after you copy so you understand what i mean is so that i can have this separately with this and then i'll just combine them you can see that's what i wanted so that i'll just put them at once yeah we 
we can test the three only for now okay we can test one two three copy and put them on the proxy check and then check proxies if we have any blue yeah sure we already have the blue and the green are very fast quality proxies and then the green are fast average ib the, the this side will just show you i'll give you the link to everything so we already have the two and we need to now change them now you can go to settings and change them but it will take more time switching from one to another so the solution that we have for these is to download something search something called it's a google uh, it's a chrome add-on called foxy proxy it's as it's it simply helps you to switch from one proxy to the other easily so you see this the first result or foxy proxy standard add-on and then this one so you just click that and hold on it's opening okay so you just go to continue to download you can you can contribute some amount to the developer and yeah and then you go to add to firefox it's adding to firefox and install now okay it wants you to restart firefox oh, do we need to restart i hope i hope we won't lose all those stuff yeah sure so you see in between the link bar and the search bar it adds something that looks like a cut now if you if you do not get this one after you add it you click here go to add-ons and then go to extensions and make sure this foxy proxy is enabled uh i hope i'm not too fast now if you left use the left click with these it will open another window that will allow you to add the proxies that you have tested so we can go to add new so you'll put your port here no ip and then you put the port here so we just go to where we had them okay oh an error card i don't know uh, i hope we did here so you mean we close them okay i think that we, we can get them here don't mind looking at my timetable i have a very long slip <laughs> uh, so the two we can start with this and then we go to the tab that opened for add on and just paste it on all of it now you select the port and copy Control c and then if you click on the port it will automatically paste that is if you use the copy and then you can go to general and put the name but i don't like using the name so that i will just it will rename it the proxy so enter you see the name assigned will be the proxy itself so let me add the second one very fast so you just go to the tab that opened or you left click this cut add and just paste it double click that copy or control copy and then if you click here it will just set it okay okay this one because for, for the sake of this one I'll show you maybe I'll just call it um Linderson Linderson one and then enter so you see it will name it Linderson one but that is it now you know we don't need that anymore now to use the proxies you just got to right click this one and then use this one okay <laughs> so you're now using that one okay as you can see these are not some are google enabled if it's not google enabled you cannot search anything using google because google will just not accept the proxy server but you can just select google enabled proxies like this yes yes and whether it's https now the next thing you have to do is you can now check the test and know if you if you're now anonymous or not so i'll just put the link to that checker also 
and you will see my IP is 54165 United States so anything that I post I'm in a good location I'm in United States and I'm no longer in the location that right now I am uh, if I switch to the next ID IP you can see this one is the same 5488 uh, 54165 oh there's a little change but we got to I think that's my previous okay let's just retry the check if you check it and oh this Mozilla Firefox is hanging if you check it and uh, oh sorry if you check it and find out that your IP is not changing then try to do something else like uh, refresh or like just make sure you're not using the same IP if you're doing some so so right now it's now okay uh, it's now okay Oh, sorry I don't need to open that 54 165 oh, it's really in the United States but the IP that is displaying on the test is not the same so you, let's switch on to Linderson and see what it will what the test will give and then enter oh, when you see this not found it means uh, we use an IP that's not found or a proxy that is a premium proxy that needs to be paid for so or the server is not live like when you tested them when we were doing the testing and we found out that some were not uh, green or blue so it will give you this error if they are not live or if they are premium so up to there you just you can also buy a cheap list like a premium list that may be one or four three dollars or four us dollars and you've got a very big endless list that you'll just be adding it to this foxy proxy and they're all most of them are live and fast proxies so instead of having to pay 20 30 dollars a month for hi db software thanks for watching my video if you do not understand anything or you encounter a problem trying to do this just leave your problem in the comments or send me an email it's in my email is in the description and all the links that we used have a good time